mentioned earlier, we have another big game going on, That's and right. our Russell Colburn is there. Mm -hmm. He is live in New Orleans, like we promised, where the Alabama Crimson Tide is getting ready to play in the Sugar Bowl. Russell? Yeah, we're here in a wet, cold, and rainy New Orleans, but who cares? It's New Orleans on New Year's Eve. You can't beat it in a much-anticipated game here. The Sugar Bowl, as you said, we're outside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, the home of the New Orleans Saints, where the third-ranked Alabama Crimson Tide will take on number 11, Oklahoma. You know, here in New Orleans, this is LSU country, folks, and it's a sea of crimson, not typical. That's because these two-story programs share that color, but, if, you know, we when you play in the pass happy Big 12 and the defense driven SEC, that's about all the two teams have in common. Alabama with their final practice inside the dome this afternoon. And after it, head coach Nick Saban was asked about the differences between the styles of play in the two conferences and if that presents any challenges for his team in terms of preparation. His answer? Football is basically football. Now, if that isn't Saban speak, Saban speak, I don't know what is. The coach did go on to say how impressed he is with how the Sooners have been able to run the ball this season, actually averaging more rushing yards per game than the Tide by about 20 yards. Good for 18th overall in the nation. I also got a chance to ask Coach about playing in Nolens yet again. I think this is three BCS Bowls in New Orleans in the last six years. Is the Superdome kind of a home away from home for you guys? Well, you know, we have a tremendous amount of respect for the Sugar Bowl and um, I think it's a great opportunity for our team to play in it. I think it's a great uh, partnership that we have with the SEC and the Sugar Bowl, but I also think there's a, a sort of pretty dynamic history between the University of Alabama and the Sugar Bowl through the years all the way back to Coach Bryant. and. Uh, being able to come to the Sugar Bowl these times has certainly been something that has, you know, enhanced the quality of our program and something that we're always proud that, uh, you know, we had the opportunity to do. Now, there was also a light-hearted rumor that head coach Nick Saban may have worked his boys a little hard in practice this week compared to uh, bowl games of recent years. He had a pretty clever, clever answer for that one. You won't want to miss it. I'll have it for you in about 30 minutes. But for now, live outside the Superdome, Russell Colburn, Fox 10 Sports. All right. Thanks, Russell. We'll see you at 530. Don't have too much fun in Nolan.